Hi, Clark. Lana. I didn't think anybody else was out here. Wow, well, looks like we had the same idea for cooling off. Yeah, it's a scorcher. You know, I'll come back. I don't know why. It's a big lake. <laughs> There's enough room for both of us. I'm game if you are. No peeking. Should be nothing between us. No, there's not. <sighs> Thanks again for the ride. It's the only way I could be sure you'd get on the bus. What? You really are kind of a freak, you know that? Mr. White, I'm serious. You try to help people, even fools like me, and you never ask for anything in return. When I saw your face up there after it was all over, I suddenly realized I was about to tear down a good person. I just couldn't believe there was actually anyone like you out there. Trust me, Mr. White, I'm not that good. Well, <sighs> I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Chalk it up to hallucinations or the DTs. All I know is I got a wake-up call. I am, uh... Exactly 17 hours and five minutes sober. I'm glad some good came out of all this. So what's next? Well, if you found the guts to go over that cliff, maybe I can find the courage to finish the one story I let go. Something tells me the world hasn't seen the last of Perry White. Something tells me you're right. Rumor has it I still have a friend or two on the Daily Planet. Oh, uh, by the way, I, uh, I went over a couple more of your torch stories. And? Well, they're rough, and half the time you bury the lead. But I see a glimmer of hope. If you ever make it to Metropolis, look me up. I owe you one. New computers? The same old computers, new Luther. <laughs> Lex returned them to me. No strings attached. I, I guess he felt guilty about firing my dad. At least you're up and running. Sam Cyberstalker. <laughs> Your soul is still intact. Yeah. You know, with all the stuff with Molly, it's just there's a part of me that feels like maybe I deserve it. No, Chloe. No, like it was my penance, you know, for what I did to you. You can't take all the blame. You went to Lionel because I pushed you away. I seem to be one of my hidden talents lately. It's not so hidden. <laughs> you know, I, I never set out to investigate you, Clark. It just, it was so flattering that someone like that would be interested in my work. 
Made you feel like you mattered. Yeah. And then Lionel, like, set my dream out right in front of me, and I just... I don't know. I gave it to all my worst instincts. No, Polly. He caught you at a weak moment. We all have them. When you found me at mine in Metropolis, you didn't turn your back on me. You gave me a second chance, and I at least owe you the same. Stuff like that. So what do we do now? I mean, we can't just forget about everything that's happened. Well, you have to understand that there are some things about me that'll never add up. <laughs> I know that. Are you willing to stop digging? Yeah, I mean, I figure you'll just tell me when you think it's right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Clark, we've been looking all over for you. So who gets to do the honors? What's going on? You ready to hear the latest news about Lana's house guest? Actually, no. No, is in you're not interested? No. No, as in it's none of my business. Lana and I finally reset our relationship to the friendship level. I'm not gonna blow up by getting between her and Adam. Wow. Clark's taking one for the team. <laughs> From now on, consider me an Adam-free zone. Okay. Well, now that we can scratch gossip off the discussion list, what's next on the agenda? Alicia. Hey, I'm looking all over for you. Yeah, you figured teleporting girl physics lab makes sense. It's a pretty good deduction. And I should warn you, Clark, I'm not always that easy to pin down. So I've seen. Um, <clears throat> but since I've, I've, I've been this lucky, I, w I was just wondering if you'd like to get together, you know, for the contest. Are you asking me out on a date? A date? No. Not that I wouldn't, but, uh... Clark, would you like to go out on a date with me? Did you just win the lotto? What? what? Uh, no, it's just, I haven't seen you smile like that in a long time. Hey, Mom. Ooh. Does this mean I'm off the hook for dinner? I invited Lana over. It must be hard to say goodbye. Well, if this works, I won't have to. Clark, do you think it's fair to keep doing this to her? No. That's why I've decided to tell her tonight. Tell her? Everything. Clark. Asking someone to keep your secret is a big responsibility. You know, look at Pete. It hasn't been easy for him. I know. Pete has had some close calls. But I'm still glad I told him, and so is he. It's made us better friends. Are you sure Lana's ready? She keeps asking me to be honest. I owe her the chance to decide for herself. I guess it's not fair to raise you as one of us and then try to keep you from experiencing one of the best parts of life. So you're okay with this? I trust you to make your own decision. It's not good enough. Hello, wait. Come with me. How are you doing this? You're doing it too. I can't fly. Not yet. This is just the beginning, Kalel. You have no idea how powerful you'll become.